Well, this is the headquarters of Hester North America here in Arvada, Colorado. So to our east, we have the Denver skyline and to our west, we have the mountains. So uh, welcome in. We've been here about three years. We're really excited to, uh, to make this place our own. Thank you. And uh, we'll kind of make the big circle, but uh, the ground floor here is dealer services, customer service, e-commerce, warranties and returns, and then our staff uh, cafeteria. And then uh, we have our showroom, which we'll get to shortly. And then upstairs, we have the president, uh, finance, marketing, sales, operations, uh, inventory management, and uh, our conference room. Excellent. So this space is actually 31,000 square feet. Oh, and huge. about 6,000 of it is front of house and uh, the rest is warehouse space. So we do all fulfillment for North America out of this space. So every glove that comes in here is shipped somewhere in North America to be sold, whether it's to an individual or to one of our accounts. So office space all on this side, have a few office pups <laughs> and, uh, and then the conference room is here. And like I said, the front part of the office here is 6,000 square feet. The remainder, and what everybody wants to see, yeah. is the other 25,000 <laughs> square feet. Goodness gracious. It's so, like the Raiders of the Lost Ark here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> A couple of things to note here. So we built as big as we could on the property here. We built as high as we could on the property. We put the racks as close together as we could, and we built the racks as high as they could go in this building. So we are maximizing every square foot of this space. We minimized office space so that we could have more room for, for uh, fulfillment back here. And we carry three lines. So Hester Job, which is our work line, is uh, on the right here. The middle section is our bike product and our fashion line, we call it Hestra Dress. And then the rest is Hestra Sport, which is our ski product, which is what we're most well known for. So we have about 12,000 SKUs, over about 400 models. Oh wow. And part of the reason for that is that our sizing is a bit more precise than most. So we carry sizing in numeric sizing. So we talk about things in terms of classical glove cutting tradition, which is your six, seven, eight, nine, ten in your sizing rather than small, medium, large, extra large. Mm -hmm. Because if you look down, your shoes aren't sized small, medium, large, extra large because that's not precise enough. You don't want to walk around point. in something that's sloppy. So we use that same premise for hands and uh, we really like that, but that also increases our skew count exponentially. Oh, for sure. So, uh, so you can see here, all the racks are really close together. And if you look really closely, you can see yellow wires in the floor. So all of those yellow lines are wires and our picking machines, once they get on those wires, they can't deviate left or right. So that allows us to keep the, ro the rows really close together and no one will ever bump into the racking or anything like that. So it keeps it really tight and uh, really specific in terms of turn radius and all of those things, making sure that no one hits the racks, that we can maximize the space and keep these racks as close together as possible. So really maximizing the space. And then as we kind of go down the stairs here, you'll see our shipping stations all the way to the wall there. And everything that comes here comes from our factories or from our headquarters in Sweden. So a lot of times we're taking things and we are repackaging them or adding header cards or adding hang tags and things like that. So we have a whole packaging station over here. And we have a whole staff that's dedicated to fulfillment, shipping, picking, packing and everything you see above these open top containers is back stock. So the point we're at in the season right now, things are pretty low, it's pretty limited up there. We've had a really strong season. So we've been able to sell through most of what came in from our factories, which is awesome. And Hester does own four of our own factories and produces over 2 million pairs of gloves a year. Oh, wow. <laughs> so as we come around here, we have three shipping stations. So we can ship three at a time during the height of the season. So we vary these between wholesale, wholesale shipments and uh, website orders to individuals. 
everything over here, the further you get away from these stations, the, the less the product is picked. So the most commonly picked items are put the closest to these stations. So it makes us much more efficient in that regard. And then as these guys ship product, everything gets picked, it gets brought to these stations. As it gets shipped, it gets pushed onto this conveyor belt, which comes around to our uh, loading area. So we ship and receive product out these doors, one door shipping, one door receiving. And uh, as you see, we have the conveyor belt to unload trucks and anything in these big boxes is waiting to be put away. Um, and uh, as the day goes on, you'll see these pallets fill up for outgoing shipments. So really efficient. Um, these guys do a great job back here and we move a lot of gloves through this facility. <laughs> Looks like it. And then as we kind of come further down, we have material storage boxes being made so we do two sizes of boxes for users um, on the website so if you buy multiple pairs of gloves you get a bigger box and then smaller for single pairs so these guys spend a lot of time just kind of refilling our uh, our complement of boxes that are put together and the back wall is a lot of our sample product or things that are new that come in a little bit later these are the picking machines i was talking about earlier I know those gloves, yep, Wakayamas. So, Wakayamas, you guys did a, <laughs> actually did a really great review on those recently. Well, thank you, they were great gloves. These are our uh, tactility heat liners, which are, um, I'll say new for this year, we did a soft launch. Next year, those are going to be huge for us. And then, um, yeah, moving on to the best part of the whole building, we made sure that we had a, a nice view of the front range. Oh goodness. Good little reminder. You can see the flat irons and Long's Peak to the north. And uh, we can see all the way down to uh, Pike's Peak to the south on the other side of the building. Oh wow. But this is a great reminder of why we do what we do. And uh, in the summers we have uh, team lunches out here. We've played bocce ball under the deck here <laughs> and uh, make good use of this space. More so in the summer than the winter. But uh, oh, it's, it is, it's a good reminder of why we do what we do. For sure, that's great. You know, review of that. I can yeah. never get enough of that. Nice. Yeah. Come on. Okay. All right. Back inside? Yep. Yeah. All right. And then we can kind of make the circle back through here so you can kind of get an up close. So these are a lot of our kid styles. One of the coolest things about our kids line, we call it juniors, is that these styles can be found in adult sizes. So we started them in the adults section of our line, Alpine Pro, the high-end ski line. Oh yeah. And these are the exact same model, same construction, same materials. So we don't cut corners when it comes to our kids product, which is something I'm really proud of. I think we, we make an effort to really give the kids something that is indicative of what they could wear for a lifetime. And we know yeah. that these gloves will last you a really long time. So this is our heli three finger model, which you can find in men's, women's and kids, which is really awesome. Oh, that's great. It'll last them forever. Yeah, absolutely. More of our heli, so gloves, three fingers, mitts here. A lot of offerings. Yes, yes. That's one of the, the best and hardest parts of my job is finding ways to speak about every model. They all are built for certain users and we want to make sure that we give them their due each season. And so uh, part of what we do is group products together for certain users and, uh, and message them that way. So, you know, our kids product, like I said, is very technical. A lot of it is very, very similar to what you see in the uh, adult lines. And we're really proud of, of that aspect of the business. The, the high-end ski stuff, is, it sells itself. It's amazing. The attention to detail that our ownership puts into the product, they still curate all the materials. So every piece of leather comes through Hestra Sweden and is curated by the owners, two of whom are master certified glove cutters, which there are less than a hundred of those in the world right now. So oh, wow. kind of part of a, a sub part of our mission as a company is to keep that trade alive because we believe in it. And our CEO is actually a master certified glove cutter. So from the top down, you see that level of detail put into the products and That's it shows. Incredible. That is really incredible. Yeah, Hustra gloves speak for themselves. People who know, know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, coming on through okay. here. 
and we'll make the, the circle back. So the, uh, I'll say the second best thing to our view is our showroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is what everyone wants to see. So we have, like I said, 400 plus models and that ranges everywhere from table cut, which is high end dress product. So think luxury materials, things like peccary and carpincho, things lined with cashmere, really thin unlined gloves that are more urban centric to um, sport and uh, kind of lifestyle dress, more lifestyle dress, and then our whole ski collection. So our ski collection includes everything from high-end ski, alpine race, uh, recreational skiing, juniors, outdoor, mountaineering, liners, and then completing the circle here is Hester Job and then Hester Bike. So we tend to think of gloves as a seasonal offering, but realistically Hester offers something for every activity year round. So we're really proud of, of that effort to kind of move away from seasonality and into a glove company that has an offering for everyone all year, which, which we're really proud of. That's great. I honestly didn't know about the other offerings. Yeah. The work and it's, the bike and such. And there are things that we don't carry in North America that are offered in Sweden, like horseback riding gloves and really? I mean gloves for everything. The one thing we, we don't make is uh, hockey gloves, which <laughs> is, is on the, uh, it's always a, a topic of conversation when we talk to people about glove making, but uh, we do have quite a bit um, and, a, and a broad offering in terms of outdoor activities. We have a little bit of everything. Yes, you do. And I love the reference to shoe sizes too. Mm -hmm. Like for reference for the readers, probably know I'm size nine in men's gloves mm -hmm. and it's very accurate. It's not a large. Right. Not extra large, right. it's a nine. Exactly. And one of the things that gets you to that point of, of you know, precision is years and years of practice. So this company has been around for 86 years. Mm -hmm. We cut our first glove in 1936. And uh, one of the cool things we've done here in the showroom is we've put together a little historical archive of gloves that people have sent back to us or um, gloves that we've found kind of floating around on eBay. Uh, we, we have a pretty good eye for those things. So you can see the progression of the brand over years and years and years. So. This glove uh, was launched in, this is our 1990 catalog. <laughs> so this glove is called the Philippe Raux. It was launched in 1990 and we brought it back just a couple of years ago in a mitt, a glove, and then a short cuffed glove. So here's the original and here's the, the newer model. So really like seeing those things come full circle and being yeah. able to talk about learning from building this glove taking that knowledge and then modernizing it into a glove that fits today's needs, which we're really excited about. We have a long history in ski racing. Um, Sweden obviously is our home. So there's a little ski basin just a few minutes from Hester's office in Hester, Sweden. And that was really the start of the, the brand. We made our first glove, which was a, a glove for lumberjacks in 1936. And just so happened that in 1937, there was a post-war boom. There were all of these things happening where transportation got easier. People were flocking to recreation and Isaberg ski area was opened in Hestra. And Martin Magnuson, our owner, founded, uh, found an opportunity there and the rest is history. Here we are 86 years <laughs> later and uh, really entrenched in, in ski. This, this model, the Philippe Raux Classic, actually inspired these models up here. So these are just a few of the heli operations that we work with. So over a dinner conversation with the guides and the owners of CMH uh, heli skiing, our owners were kind of made aware of the fact that there was a need in the market for guides to have better gloves. And so we took the Rauks model and we added features to it to make it a little more formidable for those, the needs of those guides. So throwing uh, skis around into the helis, getting in and out of the helis, doing all of the work that guides have to do day in and day out. The heli glove is built for that, and, and that's why we named it what we did. So there are a lot of things you can look at in the line in these progressions over years of time where you say, this is a great model for this application, but I'd really like to use it for something else, and how can we get there from here, right? And so we've made a lot of really good strides in, in those areas, and it's, it's awesome to see you know, the 1990 catalog versus what we're doing today, yeah. and it's really fun to kind of look back through the archives. Oh, it's incredible. What a journey. <laughs> 